Hello, hola! I'm back after a couple of weeks again Yeah, for my uh, newest uh, video for you. If you're first time here on my channel, welcome! If you've been watching me for a while, then welcome back! I know there's been a lot of new Flosstubers showing up, so it's kind of cool. I'm getting low on YouTube videos to watch, sort of. So it's Fall. I didn't know actually that officially it started last Thursday, which is about a week ago, and boy, we can tell a difference. Um, so it's rainy and cold, temperatures dropped already, and uh, so yeah, it's chilly. I don't like cold, but I don't like heat either. Um, so remember if I introduce myself, for, especially for those new of you that are watching, my name is Sergita. I live near St. Louis, Missouri, in U.S. Uh, on the Illinois side. Um, so, I know Halloween is coming. I'm so excited. I love Halloween. Uh, about the same amount as I love Christmas. Well, at least the decorations. Um, I'll, I always got interested in anything that has to do with something strange or supernatural. And so, I'm a lot into it. Um, and watching movies and books and whatnot. Um, so last weekend um, I worked at the Renaissance Fair, uh, which is like I had to drive over an hour away. Uh, I did the, as a volunteer, I'll be working until that fair closes, which is I think in four more weeks, I think. Uh, we're working there as a core uh, for my chorus, uh, my woman barbershop a cappella chorus. Um, so what I like that they try to the company try to take in um, nonprofit organization, give them sort of like a jobs and like that way and pay for the group versus like try to hire somebody individual only. So that's kind of cool. I've never been in the Renaissance Fair. It was. It was in the park, and um, we worked at the ticket booth. So we saw, I was trying to take picture of all kinds of costumes. People were coming in from early morning till evening. And some of those costumes were, wow, elaborate, you know. Some of them like, well, you know, they at least they dressed up. But um, at, at the end, we were able still to walk through the park under the trees and see what's that and a lot of neat stuff and stages with performers and um, there were of course the merchandises um, so I was looking something to you know maybe they will have like old world needlework shops or something like that but I didn't see anything uh, from what I could see um, well there they had some like leather pouches that I guess you can embroider um, but um, yeah, so it was kind of bumped about that way, but it was still interesting to see. Uh, I bought a couple things with friends. Um, and it was hot that day, and it's like day and night difference right now. Um, so, yeah, since the weather dropped, um, I'm excited I'm going to meet like in... 11 days, Laurel K. Hamilton, St. Louis writer of Anita Blake series and, uh, and Meredith series. Um, and she's coming out with a new book and us locals are able now to get the tickets to meet with her, get the autograph and uh, chance for a picture with her. So I've been rereading her books or listening to her books and I remember one of her books she said I think it was about the spring that in St. Louis there's like no normal spring that you have pretty much winter or whatever we have out of it. Um, then a couple of days sort of in between and then summer. So it's like we just didn't have a nice gradation in weather. It's like hot, hot, stifling hot and then boom, you know, I can finally open my windows and get some breeze in it and not choke on it, you know. So I'm excited to see her. <laughs> no matter the weather, I'll be there. 
So if any of you in St. Louis and planning to come, I'll be there. Um, so um, you're here for stitching stuff. I'll start with my whips and then other stuff, you know, purchases and stuff. So I'm excited to say that I did some finishes. Um, I think since Stitch Mania, I did fully six Stitch Mania finishes. Um, so let's see, this was very latest, I finished yesterday and then I started something new and it's like a linden, it's going to be a linden bag. I'll insert the picture what like finished bag as a sample could be for these seeds. Um, we like to gather these seeds. Um, and have a tea, it has medical things. So I just took the burlap um, towel, linen burlap towel, and that's my first time stitching on it. And I just cut it in half and uh, sewed the, the cut part. Uh, I did three threads. Um, these three threads here. And um, I think that turned out okay uh, with the coverage at least so um, I'll, I'll, I'll make that uh, into a bag I don't know if it's gonna look exact same as a sample but um, I want to make that as a gift at least my parents um, they still I think collect those um, those blooms those yellows that yellow stuff when it's time uh, my biggest and my one of the most proud things, I finished my very first Heaven and Earth design. I started that, I'm looking at my book, I started on December of 2015, then I had about four month period of not touching it at all. And then during Stitch Me and after that, I'll, I kept it in rotation. So I'll... Okay, so it's uh, called Ships and Shell, and that's what it turned out to be. Uh, it's done on 18 count, count white Ada, and it's full cross, 2 over 2. Um, so I finished like right before midnight. Um, I don't know what's, what's me in the midnight, but I guess it's like... I feel like Cinderella that I have to finish a lot of my projects done like right before midnight, which is kind of funny. So I have a, my bathroom powder room uh, with the, not nautical theme, but something with the sea. I have like turquoise color walls and I have a shelves, shelf in it. So I thought that would be perfect. You know? So my very first Heaven and Earth design. Oh, it took a bit, so that's kind of cool. I loved it. Um, and it took me about, I was trying to time it to see how long it takes, so I started on my phone timer, and um, when I have to go do something, I kind of pause it, and then I was like tally marking them. And so approximately a total about 185 hours of that work. Another finish, it was the uh, Orchid Kitty, and I'll put a picture of what it looked like last time, and uh, it, I just had to finish the kitty which I started last time, um, for my last video. Um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of grayish colors. And this is what it came out. Let's see. Am I shining? Am I shining for you? Anyway, so I see through. So yeah, just finished the kitty and um, it was fun to stitch. Um, it turned out better than I expected, kind of this design, you know. Um, the fabric, it was from Fabric Flare. It has you know, print it on one side and like totally white on the other side. Um, so yeah, that's my another Stitch Mania project that's finished. 
They'll need to take a bath, you know, all of them. Um, then uh, I showed you last time um, I was doing like a woman's face um, and I still couldn't figure out. It takes me a while to make a final decision of choosing like what kind of fabric or if I have to pick what kind of thread to do because I want to get good and so it takes me a while to decide but uh, for this I had uh, I haven't done anything since last time uh, so but instead of black I used 333 which is very dark blue violet and I was looking at like comparison with the black and white a black thread with the gray as a second one and uh, I was trying to match it with 3747 which is very light blue violet so it's like from very dark to very light but I don't know if the color if I like the color maybe it's just me but what do you think like you can see a little bit here it's just a little bit accent pieces left I can probably finish in one day but do you think it looks good okay it's I don't know I don't want to put like a pinks or blue, gray colors in it but um, yeah, okay I'll show you one, one more time if you can if you can see those little all right like a light color right here and here you think that looks okay I don't know, I really want to finish just this one and can't decide. I know, I probably could just take it out and if need be, start a different color. Um, and another thing I've, I've been working is a wedding couple in monochromatic color, one color. And you would see the finished, what it would should look like, something like that, um, when it's finished. And uh, I decided, I thought about just keep going as my regular rotation, but I decided to use that as my go-to in like doctor's appointment sitting waiting room. So I haven't done a lot. I'll show you where it was last time um, where I did. So it's kind of like by the, just under the groom's knees. Um, and it's very tedious, all that kind of make sure you don't skip by accident the row. So this is what it looks like now. So I've done about this much and I just go all the way across and uh, try to stitch that way. So I'm almost done with them and then will be the tr big tree going on around. So that's my doctor's appointment thing. And when I finished my linden bag uh, stitch, I decided to start a new new project instead of picking another um, um, another stitch mini. I think oh, the weather is really messing me up. It's like this rainy weather is gets my sinuses, my head off. So I'll keep drinking coffee. I love coffee. I can drink it up to past midnight. It doesn't matter. I just love the taste. So, um, a lot of my friends turning like 40 this year, you know, within a year. And so, uh, I decided to stitch. Um, I was trying to figure out, you know, to give some somebody something. Can't stitch, you know how it is. You want to be appreciated, but you don't know what exactly unless they ask for it. And if you want that to be surprise it's hard to surprise if you don't know exactly what i want um so i was trying to find something for one of my friends that i would know for sure that she would like in case she would be watching this video i can't tell her which one <laughs> it would be uh, so i found my old cross stitcher magazine from june 1995 i used to subscribe to it then i decided to donate a lot of them well, most of them uh, to charity, um, local charity, but I guess I kept a couple of magazines. And uh, that's this is the one I thought would be uh, appropriate. Appropriate. 
So that's what I'm planning to start with stitching. And it says, a friend is like a rare book of which but one copy is made. I think that anybody who likes to read books should enjoy it, you know, as I get. So I had it only about a couple hours. So I, let's see, that's a 32 count fabric. I hand dyed it myself. Um, I used the dark brown dye, red dye, and held it just for a little bit. So what you see here is the oh, where did I put it? Is the bookcase? Where's my okay. The beginning of the bookcase, like uh, da -da -da -da. like this side. So I'm sort of sort of started just a bit above the middle. Um, so yeah, I dyed it and it's trying to find something that would be like antique looking old, you know, the books. Um, I like, I like, I prefer to read paper books versus the look that I have Barnes & Noble. It's just the feel of the paper, you know, rustling on your fingers and, uh, uh, electronics, you have to charge it, you know, and afraid you're gonna drop it somewhere and break it, and all those books disappear until you find some way to restore it or buy new milk. So, those were my whips. Um, I'm gathering stuff, I'm gonna do the year of stitches which is probably going to be about 40 stitches and whips for next year. So I'm still gathering all the supplies. I don't want to bankrupt us getting everything in one time. So I'm sporadically buying things. And so, so next part of my video is going to be, oh, before I show my precious pretties, I want to do a couple of shout out, shout outs. <laughs> Uh, one was for uh, Vanna Pfeiffer. Um, she did the latest video uh, with the little tutorial how to do the pin stitch. And the way I was trying to comment on it and um, asking questions, I don't think uh, she understands. So, Vanna, if you're watching me, that's a great video, you know, but I still can't figure out how to. I mean, I know how to start it and everything, that was no problem, but always for me to finish it, how to do the very last one, because if you go all the way, I just show this way, all the way across, one way and then back, how to exactly finish instead of just sticking all through the back, you know? You were showing like a little bit, sort of like in the beginning you did, but it's not exactly the same, so that was my question, so. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to express myself on, uh, you know, during writing. It's easier for me to like show uh, what I'm trying to ask or understand. Um, so yeah, it's a great tutorial, but um, I still can't figure out the, how to end it. Um, and another one shout out is to Layla, the novice teacher from uh, down south in the U.S. Um, I applaud you, Leila. I, uh, it's, I know a lot of people turn to cross-stitch and other needlework things to keep themselves busy. And uh, with you, you know, I understand bipolar, it might be hard to do, but you gave me idea that, I don't know, maybe others will, who's never thought of it, maybe would like to participate. Um, like maybe some, we can get put together kits of simple things to stitch and uh, bring it to hospitals or to some either uh, mental patients or just the regular people who are sick and staying in the hospital for a long time and they're probably bored, you know, and to something like to occupy. And it doesn't have to be stitching things, you know, uh, because some needles, you know, maybe some people can't handle the tiny needles, you know. 
it could be knitting something item you know or they can do learn to do scarves and maybe then leave it donated to like a shelter or something you know or it could be crochet or something like that um so Layla, yeah watching your videos kind of um brought that idea to my forefront um so that's cool you know keep it up girl you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh so yeah that was Layla novice stitcher um check out her videos she's funny um so yeah, so the next thing would be my precious pretties. I, I'm still waiting um, from pictures just plus for fabric, uh, for different uh, pieces during that big sale I bought and it's been a few months, I don't know, is it usually like three month period for waiting or it's most of you already got it? Um, I don't know. I'm not planning to start big hate project until probably end of December to to join um, your uh, starts and whips so, but still it would be nice to get it you know. so last time I forgot to show you I bought PDF chart um, uh, Passione Ricamo European designs and it's called Into the Darkness I told you I like Halloween so I have her and my plan is to stitch and let's see, let's pull her out. Another thing I purchased a little bit ago and I keep forgetting, I got those uh, Semiramic Gardens um, pattern from uh, Etsy shop. I was a little disappointed. Um, I mean, I've seen what it's supposed to look like when she was um, like starting model stitching, but there's nowhere, you know, the, the pattern, PDF came as a three pages, two pages pattern, one page uh, thread color, but they're like all our specialty stitches and I think there were bees, but there's nowhere on it that it shows, you know, so this is going to be this kind of stitch or, you know, where to look up the, how to stitch that stitch particularly, you know. So it's kind of just diagrams sort of looking like that, but there's no finished um, project picture, no model stitch picture included in it. No explanations which stitches were named how or something, you know, to help out. It's just a regular drawing, like, you know, you have that sunburst or something, so it's like a bunch of lines crisscrossing and try to figure out, you know, some were look kind of harder ones, but it was kind of disappointing to get just that, you know, you can look it up and at the regular picture, I think, and if you're good, you can figure it out, but for those who's never done a lot of those specialty stitches, it would have been good to have, um, you know, at least suggestions this is this is stitch and this is that stitch you know by the name and at least we could look her up online you know how to do it but she didn't have it and it was kind of sad um so uh from stash uh, what's the facebook group called stash and load i think or something like that uh, i got some things so from canada yay canadians um, you're probably enjoying the, the fall weather and the changing of the leaves by now. We're just starting to get a few leaves and the trees changing colors. So, so I'm looking ahead of doing something for a teacher. As the gift, I have three kids, so at least two of them would be nice. And there was just writing a little bit on, on outside and a little bit markings on a inside but um, there are little mini things inside so teacher ideas there are, you always need some ideas for a teacher something different and uh, winter warming bread cloth I thought you know we always have something some buns uh, with like spaghetti or, or something little book Mary Ellen designed seashells from the seashore seashore 
he sure, she sure. So, um, since I have finished this one, this might help. Add a little bit, you know, a couple of things here and there on the, on the wall. So, seashore seashells. Um, this was the most expensive book. I think I paid $1.50 for that. So, The Birds of North America um, by Gloria and Pat. I've taken crosses, crosses, I think, with Pat. I, uh, she used to even um, sign uh, during the class we received a little like a bag um, canvas bag I think to put like our stuff in and she autographed it even though I, I think her doctor said not to, to use her hand because she was doing so much before but she autographed ours um, our bags so there are some samples I'll show you so there's different birds, you know. Something small you can put on a bag. It doesn't have to be like like a pictures hanging on the wall. Um, so I mean they're not that hard, but they they look kind of cute, you know. It's not like somebody took a picture of the bird and stuffed it in the program and wham bam thank you ma'am and done with that. So I think they worked on it a little bit more. And uh, then there was a peasant pattern. I don't know why, but this bird looked very cute. Um, so, you know, they had a, what do you call that, fire um, screen and a pillow and a little box you can decorate. And a tea tray. Those are little leaflets. Aniline designs. Um, I'm trying to collect different Santas. I have a Santa collection, um, different ways. So I thought maybe I would make little mini pillows or uh, you know two folds. Um, and this is monthly Santa. Isn't it cute? I mean. And Ovana did some things that you can do like monthly and so yeah. So if you like them, try to find and Google them. They might have it. Um for that. So that's I think all I got. There's uh, very important packages coming to me. Um for a giant project, it's gonna take five years, and it's I think at least one foster bear is doing it. Um, it's George uh, Washington's Crossing, and uh, she's a, a lady who's in charge and putting it all together is sending slowly all of us packages. So um, my part. It's going to be pretty boring. I think it's eight colors only. Uh, so from what I could see in the picture, I think I'm going to have just part of the sky. So there are going to be sporadic throw of colors in there. And we have about five years to do it. So I'm here to get my package. Um, so that's going to be cool. It's going to take a while. I'll show you when I get it. Um, you know, it's going to be big size. So participate in that project. I was practically jumping when I when I got on the list, you know, to to, uh, to participate. So even though I'm not born in US, but I thought it would be nice to le to make something historical like this and my kids could see it and be proud of me. Um so besides teaching, I don't know Ever since I got my stitchy bug bug back, uh, which is was last fall, so about a year ago, I wouldn't call it bug. I would call it leech, my stitch leech. I can't do anything. Besides that, it's like I wanna I don't wanna do housework, I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna do anything, just like leave me alone, all I wanna do is stitch, which is not good, you know. Um 
it's I don't want to even bake anything I used to do all kinds of cookies and decorate them and I would make all my kids birthday cakes and decorate them differently um, all right now they not that keen for me to decorate them they just want to have um, like ice cream cake um, actually we're gonna be celebrating one of the boys uh, birthdays with uh, some friends um, but it's not going to be at home, it's going to be a laser tag place. And he said, I want an ice cream cake, you know. I understand in the summertime, so we'll see when uh, next time comes for another kid, if it's going to be cold, maybe they would like me to make something for them. Um, so, yeah, I, so I've been reading book. I know quite few of you read uh, this book or reading now, Quick and the Thread. Embroidery mystery, murders mystery. Um, so I'm about third way in. And this time stitching can be deadly, but I'm on the lead. Um, and I, uh, to Layla, novice stitcher, I wrote you on your comments. Um, I mean, I know you've been struggling and trying to get all those books, but um, if I had to buy every book that I was reading this house would be full of books you know so I just tried to get some things from my local library and I love that libraries have connection the big part you know taking like half state or third of the state and if your library doesn't have it Sometimes I just go online and it's like, okay, so my, the whole system has this book, but it's somewhere out there, so I'll request it, and this way they just pile up and I go my local um, library and pick them all up. So next one in line, I'm uh, going to be listening, flirt, so I can sometimes stitch and listen to a book and my kids won't see it and won't hear it when I have a headphones in and they're doing their homework. Um, so I think that's it. I showed you my precious pretties. Um, yeah, so if you tell me uh, if you think my that woman's face or that one color look okay, or if you have a suggestion for it um, to change a color that would look okay. It's like slight shading would be. And that's it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for subscribing and uh, if you click like my uh, channel or if you're commenting, it's always fun to get the comments, I know. Uh, when I start binge watching somebody, it's like, uh, it's, it's hard to just stop and start writing versus just let, click on the next and stitch, you know, but uh, comments are always fun. So thank you for visiting me. And uh, hopefully you're still with me <laughs> through all my rambling. And uh, have a great day. And I'll see you probably in a couple of weeks. So talk to you later. Bye. Adapt.